Welcome back to the channel, man. Before I head out today, I think my car has a slow tire leak. I'm not sure when it happened, but I think this actually happened a couple weeks ago when I was letting the car sit. I noticed the tire pressure was starting to go down. I don't know if you can tell right there, but it's starting to leak a little bit, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that real quick. So I'm gonna take care of this real quick and then we can get on with the rest of the video. All right, we should be good to go. So, purpose of this video, top five mods to do to your G35 coupe or sedan. So we're gonna drive to the spot, get some good angles recording. And while I'm on the subject too, I'm actually thinking about bringing gaming to this channel, specifically Need for Speed, that game comes out tuesday the early access and i pre-ordered that so i'm actually gonna stop by best buy pick up an elgato yeah i'm actually really excited for that just off of the fact that this brings more car content to the channel and it brings a nice dynamic of playing racing games and modifying the car in real life Okay, getting into this video, the first modification I feel like you guys should definitely consider when grabbing the G35 coupe or sedan would be the Spec D headlights. As you can tell, it gives the car a modern look. Now, thankfully, when I did get my car, the last owner had already installed these headlights, so that was one thing to scratch off my list. Now, you can get these, I believe, with the black housing, chrome housing, and a darker shade of the chrome. The retail on this is kind of high. They retail at around 450 but I really think it's worth it. They look really good, it's modern, it's not too much. If you're not a fan of the chrome housing, you can get the dark housing, but they look really good. Now, the only con I would say with these headlights is that they do tend to fog up. With the installation process, the only way to kind of negate that is to just try your best to seal up the housing that's really the only way it's unfortunate because these are expensive headlights but that is something to keep in mind before you grab them now the second modification i feel like that would be the best for this car would definitely be the wheels these are actually a good alternative if you don't want to grab the most expensive set of wheels i did get these when they were on sale wheels tires everything all together i believe the total came up to I want to say 1400 which actually isn't that bad at all and it's cheap for a set of wheels the specs are 19 by 11 plus 15 all the way around front and rear they're the Adahan DSO6 wheels I chose to go with these personally because I had the chrome spec D headlights so I thought that the wheels and the headlights tied in pretty good together which they do so these wheels do look really good I think it gives the car an aggressive look one thing i do like about add-on is that a lot of the specs that they do offer are aggressive and if you don't know fitment industries is where i did pick these wheels up so the third mod that i do want to talk about is the carbon fiber mirror caps now i picked these up off of ebay for a hundred dollars even it gives the car a really nice touch especially when i end up getting the carbon fiber fenders it'll just tie in perfectly a lot of people with G's, whether it be the coupe or sedan, have these, especially for it being an affordable mod. It's really a no brainer. Now you could go cheaper. The pattern will probably look the same. That's just the specific one I grabbed. So the fourth thing I wanna talk about 
is the Tomei exhaust. Now, let me be clear. This exhaust, to me, in my opinion, will only sound good if you have the art pipes. And these are the Motordyne art pipes. You guys actually aren't even supposed to see this. This is for future video when I have time to go back to the shop to get this installed. But yeah, these are the holy grails. I actually didn't realize how windy it was outside. So apologizing in advance, I had to cut the footage up because of how bad it was outside. As of right now, they're on back order. This exhaust, and I have sound clips from my last video. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. I'm telling you, exhaust wise, without the Motordyne art pipes, this car is loud and super raspy. Personally, to me, it doesn't sound good right now, which is why I picked up the Motordyne art pipes. I just have to get them installed. But this is a very, very expensive exhaust if you want to make it sound good, in my opinion. Now, luckily, my friend looked out, my boy Darius, he actually had this exhaust for his 350Z brand new, and he sold it to me for a grand. They retail for, I want to say, 1200 That's just a Tomei exhaust. For the Y pipe, I have a Z1 Y pipe that was $300. And as far as the test pipes, I'm running max speeding rod test pipes. Those, I want to say, were 120 For the price of 120 they do the job. I actually like my old exhaust setup a lot better with the test pipes that I'm running now. I had an NVIDIA exhaust. That's what came on the car from the previous owner, and that sounded really good. So another alternative would be the NVIDIA exhaust. I highly recommend that exhaust. It's quieter, but it sounds really good. It's not extremely loud. Like right now, my car is just loud. It doesn't have a tone. With the Motordyne art pipes, it'll fix that issue. By the way, those were almost a grand just for the art pipes and i was actually putting that off because i did not want to spend that much money it was just to the point where i had to pick it up i was really iffy on getting it especially for the price that price was ridiculous but they're taxed right now and they're hard to come by so you gotta do what you gotta do so yeah the fourth thing would definitely be the tomi exhaust it's nice you just had to spend a lot more money to make it sound really good and yeah, I do feel like a nice alternative to this exhaust would be the NVIDIA. I would definitely recommend that to anyone. Honorable mentions, I do want to talk about the Plenum Spacer, cold air intake. If you get those things, and if you have the money, I would say go for it and get a tune. Personally, like in my experience, you know, these cars aren't like, you're not going to see big gains unless you rebuild the block. So don't get a plenum spacer and a cold air intake and you know you're thinking you're gonna notice it because i don't personally the car ran a lot smoother after i got the tune but other than that i already had the cold air intake that came with the car but the plenum spacer i got when i was in the process of getting the car ready to get tuned so those two would be my honorable mentions and my final thing would definitely be a tune tunes are not cheap but they're worth it the car will run a lot better especially if you're running test pipes without one trust me i'm telling you i'm tuned by admin if you guys want to see that video i'll leave a link to it in my description that was probably the best video i would say on my channel i loved making that video the experience driving my car to new york to get tuned that whole process everything that i had to do to get the car ready was totally worth it my tune was 700 and i had to put 200 down like i said next video will be need for speed gameplay i definitely want to record gameplay as far as need for speed it's a brand new game i just feel like there's so much content right there for the channel and it gives the channel a nice dynamic recording gameplay and then modifications in real life so for those of you who stuck around at the end of the video yeah basically this is what i just picked up to start recording need for speed gameplay like i alluded to earlier in the video i think this would just be a really good dynamic to have racing game content and content on the car. I feel like they go hand in hand with each other. And it's crazy because a lot of the YouTubers that I watch do both. Like they do gaming content and content on their car. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Next video for sure will be Need for Speed content. And I'll catch you in the next one.